Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a bonus reading for the sign of Virgo for September 2021. Please keep in mind that it's a general read. It will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements, cross-watch or check back again. Now let's see what are the energies for Virgo for September 2021. How Virgo is viewing their connection with their person at this time. What's in Virgo's mind space, please? Let's see, we have Hangman, could be dealing with Pisces here. We have the Knight of Wands. I don't know if you can see. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Right. Uh, I see, Virgo, that it is interesting because... Um, with the, Look at this. At the, with the Knight of Pentacles the Hermit, the World, and the Judgment here at the bottom of the deck, right? On your side, I feel like there was some kind of an, uh, an ending to the situation, at least some kind of separation. Take it how it resonates. Could be separation, could be ending, could, could be that one of you had to move uh, somewhere for some reason. Could be that it is a long-distance relationship here, right? And I feel like... Uh, whatever happened, whatever is the case, uh, the things are actually developing very, very slowly. And um, I feel like at this time, Virgo, you are actually trying to gain another perspective on the situation, even though I see with the Knight of Wands, there is a desire within you to to get things moving faster, maybe to come together faster, to get things moving. But still, I see that... Um, you are actually holding yourself back a little bit to work on this uh, on this particular uh, thing, right? On trying to trying to gain another perspective on this situation. Uh, I because I I feel uh, several scenarios are coming across in the same time. So uh, please take it how it resonates. For some of you, this could be after a separation, a physical, emotional separation, energetical separation. Right. For some of you, this could be just uh, there is a physical distance between the two of you. And I see that even though you want to move uh, within the situation and towards this person, but you are actually trying to work out uh, many, many different scenarios. Maybe you are. I feel like there is a need for you to see something from a very different angle here. But uh, let's see how this person is viewing this situation with you at this time let's see we have the ten of pentacles uh, the ten sorry the ten of cups I'm so sorry we have the ace of uh, ace of cups what's going on we are in the mercury retrograde pre-shadow so yeah please bear with me uh, we have the ace of swords and we have the Nine of Swords. Right. Look, oh, with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups here, just like I said, I felt the Ace of Cups was coming. They do love you, Virgo. They do love you, but in the same time, they feel, uh, they, they feel very, very burdened. Because I feel like whatever happened between you two, this person maybe did not expect to be so upset because of this uh, fallout or breakup or whatever the case might be. I see them realizing actually how happy they were with you. I see them realizing that they could have or even still can have this happily ever after with you. I see this person being very, very stressed. Very stressed. They can't sleep at night. There, It's a lot of an anxiety here on this person's part. Maybe even depression. They They don't feel fine at all. They don't feel fine at all. They are very, very upset because of the situation. Right, so uh, let's keep going. How Virgo feels about this person or situation at this time? What's in Virgo's heart space? For Virgo, please. The Four of Cups. The Hierophant. Could be dealing with Taurus. The Three of Wands. 
Right, with the Six of Pentacles, Justice and the Nine of Cups here at the bottom of the deck on your side, I feel like actually at this time you are, first of all, I see you giving a lot to yourself. Maybe you were the one who was working more um, towards this connection before and you didn't feel like it was reciprocated enough, right? And I see you giving more energy to yourself. I see you taking more care of yourself. Um, to be honest, I do see that... How do I put this? I see that you are waiting for this person, for example, to reach out. Uh, you would like to talk to them, right? Uh, but I also see that you are not very happy with the, I would say, with the form of this relationship, how it was in the past, maybe how it is now. <clears throat> I feel like for many of you, it's uh, it could be a committed relationship, could be marriage, but you are not very happy uh, with how it goes, right? And and I see that you are waiting for a change, right? If 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 you are in separation with this person. You, you definitely, you would like to see them, you would like to hear from them. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. But I feel like the more you are, you are taking care of yourself, the more you are finding this emotional independence of yours, the more you understand that this particular form of a relationship, of a commitment, is not something that you really like, right? I feel like there is some kind of feeling of uh, being discontent on your side uh, maybe not with the person in particular but in exactly in the in the form how this commitment is presenting itself in your life right now you're not very happy for some reason please take it how it resonates let's see how this person feels the five of swords the eight of swords oh the Three of Pentacles. I feel like their mind is, yeah, definitely their mind is is driving this person crazy, actually, with the Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I do, I do see that they are watching you. They are constantly watching you. They are constantly thinking about you. Um, it is interesting because... I see that they are also not very happy about how things are between you two. And the thing is that I feel like they would like to bring this connection together. It feels like maybe at least in a in a form of like friendship here, maybe maybe you had a lot of feelings before for each other, but <clears throat> you know sometimes it happens when when uh, when there is a lot of romantic feelings, people forget to be friends, right? And I feel like they would like to have something like this, or for for some of you, for some of you, I feel like I feel like they are actually so afraid that you left them for good that they would, let's say, they would be able to agree to stay friends. It's not what they want, right? It's not what they want at all. Uh, they actually, I feel like this person is very afraid that you are uh, you are moving on, or maybe even moved on already, and and they they think that maybe you are seeing already other people, and they would really like to, you know, to to come forward and to be able to to have you only for themselves, but they don't know how to do this. After whatever happened between you two, they have no idea how to do this, and. Well, they are going through this. They are. I see a lot of anxiety on this person's part and they have no idea how to move forward. And um, and yeah, for, for some of you, for some of you, they are ready to offer you just, just anything, any kind of connection, just don't leave me. For some, for a group of you, for, for some of you, they are seriously thinking that you could be already involved with somebody else. Well, maybe you are. We have two threes here, so... This could be that you are looking at some other options, even though I don't see it on your part at all, but you never know. Right, so let's see what is this person's intentions. Six of Cups. The Devil. 
the Four of Cups. So I see that, oh, right, you see with the Two of Swords and the King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, they definitely do have a lot of emotions for you, they have a lot of love for you, but the thing is that I don't see they are being able to move with the Eight of Swords on their side and the Devil now. Uh, attached to the energy of the Six of Cups and the Four of Cups, it feels to me like they would rather sit and think and remember the good old times and they will go through the photos, maybe they are going through your uh, social media pages, watching you, watching the photos that you had together, you know, like going through the memories, being unhappy because of it, but, but not doing anything actually. I feel like they are not doing anything. It's like, you know, it's like a giving up kind of energy, but, uh, well, let's see. Let's see uh, what actions is this person going to take towards Virgo. What actions is this person going to take towards Virgo? Ooh, there we go. The Ace of Wands. The Three of Wands. The Three of Cups, okay, okay, that's better now, that's better now. I see that, yes, definitely, um, probably after some time of sitting like this, feeling unhappy, being unhappy without you, I definitely see this person taking action, I definitely see them extending uh, themselves towards you, I see messages coming in, I see that um, they are looking forward to, to come together with you, they are looking forward to have this reconciliation with you. Right, so, uh, so yeah, right now they are a lot up in their head, but uh, I feel like probably, probably this, this love that they have for you, this understanding that you are actually there happily ever after will, uh, will prevail in this time. Right, let me get you some advice with regards to this relationship for Virgo, please. Can we have an advice for Virgo, what Virgo should be doing with regards to this relationship? We have the Nine of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Cups here. So yeah, I feel like actually it's not even an advice, it's just, uh, it's just the universe is telling me that Virgo right now is, is taking time for themselves, is working a lot on their own uh, emotional integrity on their own emotional fulfillment feeling happy feeling good feeling fine and uh, i feel like yeah things will come together things will come back together with the three of cups here and the ten of pentacles i feel like uh, especially for those of you um, who are married to this person i feel like things are coming back together right and uh, and for the good for the good, with the, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups on their side, I feel like they had a lot of realizations with regards to this connection and you definitely uh, needed this time for yourself. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this helped and I hope to see you again. Bye, Virgo.